안녕 저는 틸리즈 오피스와 그리고 여러 가지 여러 블록체인 선두 회사들이 입주한 틸리즈 블록체인 캠퍼스에 와 있습니다 그리고 여기는 몰타입니다 네, 저가 이렇게 있는 이유는 틸리즈의 CEO이자 설립자인 알렉스를 인터뷰하러 가려고 하는데요 여러분 따라오세요 Hi Alex, how are you? Hi Lumi, I'm very well, thank you. Alex has said that there are a lot of wonderful things here. I'm very excited. I'm very happy to be here today with you and to talk to our community, Korean community. Uh, as you know, we are very strong uh, in Korea, and I hope that we're going to answer a lot of questions today. Chili's has planned a new plan, but it changed the plan. I'm a bit curious about how it happened, and how it happened to other countries. And I'm curious about how it happened. We just created it, the Chili's token. It has been minted a couple of weeks ago now. And we are going to distribute it in, uh, I hope, two to three weeks. Depends on some uh, technical uh, things. And we, we delayed the original plan that was supposed to distribute the token during the summer to make sure that, one, it fit the uh, market conditions, which are a bit tough right now, and secondly, to make sure that it's close to the launch of our product. So, do you have any plans about airdrop and how it will be implemented? So, everybody wants an airdrop, uh, of course, so we are going to launch a new marketing campaign, a new airdrop campaign that will start in the next two weeks, I think, and there will be uh, a lot of information available on the Korean channel. Socios.com을 빼고는 so, 칠리즈에 대해서 말을 할 수가 없잖아요. Socios.com에서 칠리즈를 어떻게 사용할 수 있는지 좀 말씀을 해주세요. So we are going to launch Socios.com, which is going to be a mobile application that will allow you and me to buy what we call the fan tokens. So you will have the fan tokens of Juventus, Paris Saint-Germain, and all the other teams that we are going to launch eventually. And with your Chili's token, you're going to be able to buy these tokens, and you're going to be able to vote on what the team is asking you. So the team is giving a voice to their fans, and to have this voice, you need the Chili's token. The Korean community loves uh, football or soccer, so it's going to be very interesting for us to promote our European and international football teams in Korea. And then hopefully, eventually, maybe next year, we will sign Korean baseball team or soccer team uh, to join the platform. The mechanism for uh, Socios is very simple. You own a fan token, you can vote. So as long as you hold it, you, can, you are allowed to vote on what the team is asking you. You don't have to spend it, you don't have to redeem it, you don't have to use it. You just have to own it. And the more tokens you own, the more your voice is uh, valuable, the more you are an influencer. What kind of vote you're going to have? At the beginning, these biggest teams, they're going to mainly ask about cosmetic, what color of the jersey, where in Asia they're going to play, what music in the stadium. But the idea is that on the long term, the big football teams will ask more about the, the setup of the sports team and will ask more uh, how to organize their team. So, the Chili's e-sports is a lot of people who are in As you know, uh, Chile started from the e-sports uh, space. During the summer, we realized that if we put more focus in football and traditional sports, we will be more successful, especially in 2019. So we put more efforts 
to sign some of the biggest sports teams in the world, like PSG and Juventus. And as I said, more will be announced very soon. Um, and we will also have major esports team that will be announced in Q1 2019. In terms of organizing our own sports uh, esports league, GPL, we think it's too early and we rather focus on the main sports like football, esports, etc. 우리가 현재 있는 곳이 블록체인 캠퍼스, 칠리즈 블록체인 캠퍼스라는 공간이거든요. 이 공간이 칠리즈한테 어떻게 도움이 되는지 궁금합니다. Yeah, so here we are in this uh, new building that is not completely finished, where uh, Chile took five uh, levels in order to build the Chile's blockchain campus. The idea for us is that it's very good for the company to have a lot of other cryptocurrency and blockchain businesses around ours and it will help us to build a relationship with these companies. And also, because we are based in Malta, which is known as the blockchain island, there is a lot of Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Southeast Asian company that wants to come to Malta, and now they have a home uh, to be hosted. Uh, so Chile's do not own the, the, the building, uh, neither do I. Each floor actually is owned by a different uh, uh, landlord, but we rent the place and we've redesigned a lot of things. And so we rent to the, we lease actually to a new tenants and blockchain companies uh, the space. We're gonna allow the blockchain companies to actually pay in, uh, in Chile's and pay in our own currency uh, to make sure that the ecosystem is uh, very strong. 이렇게 알렉스와의 인터뷰를 짧게 마쳐보도록 하겠고요. 이렇게 함께 해주셔가지고 너무 감사합니다. Thank you for your time, Alex. Thank you, Lomi, and uh, hope to see you soon and see uh, all our Korean friends uh, in Seoul very soon. 네, 말씀하셨다시피 우리가 또 함께하는 시간을 갖도록 하겠습니다. 감사합니다. Mm -hmm.